2010. He's already extended his points lead in the championship because his nearest challenger at the start of the weekend, Max Nagel, and was out of it before it even begun with a broken collarbone. The Mono Salvo, he knows all too, well, he's all too aware. He knows more than anybody else the danger of having Tony Cairoli behind you on the last lap. Cairoli is going to be trying absolutely everything around the saint jean d'Angeli circuit to try and find a move. He's hard on the brakes at the bottom of the hill here, but follows the same line as De Salle. Gets pitched out of it as well right at the last moment. Loses a little bit of time, and De Salle just creeps out another bike leg at the top of the longest hill in the track. Is he going to make a move? Well, we said he was rehearsing around this section. He had go, and he's almost off the side of the bike as well. Through, through the reboot tides of waves. He was good through here last time was Caroli. He goes down the inside. Oh, out of control or what was Tony Cairoli? But you can't knock his effort. Here he goes again. This is where I thought he would try and get the job done a lap or two ago. But De Salle keeps it nice and solid through there. Again, Cairoli making a mistake. And I feel now that Cairoli probably just running out of time. But you cannot knock the effort from Cairoli. There's Philip Hart. He's away with this one. He's going to win the Grand Prix. There is Clement de Salle in second on that. See, and again, another mistake from Cairoli. Just trying 110%. The French crowd really getting into this. But uh, Clement de Salle, if he keep it on the track now for these next three corners, he will be third overall. He'll be second in the race. Philip Hartz will win the GP. And Tony Cairoli will have to settle for second overall this weekend. There's Philip Hartz. He rounds the final corner on that uh, Monster Energy Yamaha. He takes the chequered flag. He